hi there technophiles. Um, last two weeks ago I was approached via email by CJ of the student room, oh, I'm sure some of you know him, who said, hey Jake, do you want to review a netbook and the technology in it by AMD? And I of course said yes. And there we go. We have a nice a nice netbook here. Um, this is the HP Pavilion DM1 3100. Try saying that on a night out. Um, first impressions: uh, extremely portable. Uh, you know, look, I mean, look at the, the look at that. That's that's ridiculous. That's it's so slender. Um, the keyboard itself really good, apart from the four arrow keys, which, as you'll be able to see here, um, those two they're very hard to use if you ever use them for anything. And I play games now and then. They're really difficult to use, but everything else very accessible. Ah, uh, now the touchpad. Um, HP, you've slipped up a bit here. It's not going to cause you too many problems, but it's annoying. Basically, you look here, you can see the buttons. They're very clearly marked out. Um, you, you can't miss them. However, if I don't know if you were to hear this, if I just put in the middle, you can see I'm, I'm well above the line. Just that you shouldn't be able to do that and you'll be working away um, trying to do something and you'll go click and then you'll sit there going why are you not loading and it's because you've not clicked and you c it doesn't make any sense. The other issue with the touchpad is I don't know how to explain it, it's too smooth, it's sluggish, I, mm, you, you need to have a mouse attachment really. It's easy enough to disable the touchpad if you get a mouse. There's a in fact no, in fact there you go. There's another criticism, and I don't want to be criticising it because it's very nice of them to ask me to do this. But in the corner of the touchpad, I'll show you. You might be able to see it. In the corner of the touchpad, there's this little dot here. You hit that twice, and it disables the touchpad. Why would you put the touchpad disable button on the touchpad that you're using? It, oh, it's not. I mean, again, I'll get laid back to my laptop. You want to disable my touchpad? Function button F7. There's no way I'm ever just going to be typing and using the mouse and go. Whoops! Function F7. Uh, in terms of how it actually runs, it's very smooth. It's very quick starting up, uh, going to sleep. It comes loaded with Windows 7. No point me going into that. You know what Windows is like. You know, you either love it or hate it. Like any HP machine, it's got so much stuff preloaded into the background that for the first 15, 20 minutes of you using this, it's going to really annoy you and it's saying register this, use this, here's an antivirus, here's another antivirus. It turns your laptop into, you know, Guantanamo Bay with the amount of antivirus it shoves on there. My laptop, which is meant for videos and games and to be an entertainment laptop even though all it causes is frustration the fans are on the underside here on the underside at the back and I cover the fans and the amount of times it shuts down it, it's bad it's not a good design that is brilliant that is a fantastic design fans on the side Acer if you're listening fans on the side K K I thought I'll put games on it and see how it runs with them not the newest games ever um, uh, Mirror's Edge, uh, it's not new, it's not old. On medium to low graphics, runs fine. Uh, you do need a mouse for that game. But why am I really here? Um, this week I need to review the battery life for it. So I've done two to three tests. The third one, not really a test, but the first two, definitely tests. First one I did was watching a few videos, Facebook, uh, the student room and downloading a game. Pretty much cookie cutter stuff you'll do on every laptop. You can almost equate it to just dry running the battery. Shockingly, five hours and 25 minutes before I needed to charge it again. The phone doesn't even last that long and I paid so much for this. Second test, I wanted to kind of stress test it a little bit. So what I did basically was, instead of playing World of Warcraft on the entertainment laptop, I just shoved it on here and played it through to the battery dry, not always playing it, sometimes just leaving it to run, but you know, it's mostly using the same amount of processor time as it would if I was playing it heavily. And even then, it lasted 3 hours and 15 minutes on high power. AMD Fusion technology, which is the whole point of this 
review now is this is the technology allowing the battery life to be this amazing it's really working the third test I did was using it off charge to watch a film and just to see how much percentage the battery would go down in the time it would take me from start to finish of the film in one film Scarface if you're wondering uh, I got the battery down a whole 10% it was nothing unlike some of the other reviewers I only got this on a Friday I would have liked to test it a little bit more than I have and I promise I'll put a bit more effort into the next review for you. Uh, it will be a bit more comprehensive and not just me flailing a netbook around and going, look at the pretty netbook, ooh. In fact, if I could describe this netbook in one word, it would be, you should go and buy this netbook. Now, if you want a netbook with good battery life and a good size screen. a bad touchpad and uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed this hope it makes you want one and um, bye